Hi, oh yeah, baby! Welcome to Chef Bart's Cake and Kitchen. Hey, guess what we're doing today? Today we're making a seafood gumbo. And I tell you what, it's going to be so good, so good, so awesome. Before I start, excuse my little hand, I had to get my little sous chef in here to go ahead and get everything prepared for you. I had a little bit of surgery, but everything's fine, and I'll be back to making my regular videos pretty, pretty soon. Anyway, here's what you're going to need, Chad, and here's what's going in the pot. First of all, got a gumbo pot, and in that gumbo pot, I got about a gallon and a half of water. Hey, it's going to be perfect. If you've got four or six people you want to feed, adults with a big appetite, that's, <laughs> that's, that's the pot to fix them. All right, it's cold as heck outside. I mean cold. Cheers. That's why I'm not out there cooking, Shaq. I'm in here cooking. Anyway, what you're going to use? Right here, I've got, I don't want to lean that too much, I don't want to leak anything. I've got some roux. I'm using jar roux today. Try to make it easy on myself, you know, rather than hold that pot with my hand and stir and all that stuff. I've got about a half a half a jar, half of a 16 ounce jar of dark root. I'm going to use more than likely a little over one third. And other than the root, let me put this in order. Of what's going into the pot? The root first. I got some sausage right here. Use the sausage of your choice. You can use smoked sausage or fresh sausage. Jalapeno sausage, green onion sausage, whatever you want to use, whatever suits you. It's all about you and your pot, Chad. Remember that. All right. I've got some bell pepper. I've got about a quarter, about a quarter of a, a, a green bell pepper right here, medium-sized bell pepper. And mixed in there, I went ahead and put a, a, a couple of sweet bell peppers, sweet peppers. Uh, and you can see I got a yellow and an orange. I couldn't find a red, Chad, but that's going to be good. It, it equals out to a half, one half cup. I got two whole onions. That's going in there. You remember about onions and gumbo? If you use a lot of onions, it don't hurt. Matter of fact, I always try to use at least two onions in my gumbo. Now, garlic. I chopped up three little cloves of garlic. But not only that, I've got a teaspoon of garlic powder. That's going to go in there. Now, Tony Shasheri, that's my man. He got some spices. Got a little bowl right here. Got a half a teaspoon of bowl. Salt. Love my salt. I got a teaspoon of salt. And the only reason I got just a half a teaspoon, because I don't know what Tony Shasheri is going to do with that bowl in there. So, I'm going to put both of these in. I'm going to be, I know, a little light on salt, but it'll all be good because I can always add a little bit. You never want to over salt it, then you got to add more water and do all kinds of things to try to get leveled out. Well, I don't want to do all that. All right. I've got some dried green onions. Dried green onions. I got, uh, geez, I guess a tablespoon. Parsley flakes. Got some dried parsley flakes here. If I can, I'll get out into the garden and cut the real fresh stuff. Because that's what we use. But these here, they're good now. Celery seeds. Got some celery seeds to put in there. And you know what? We're going to be chopping up some celery after a while. I'm going to use one stalk of celery in there. You know, I can't remember at all, Chad. You know, they just got to play the game. All right. In this bowl right here, and you can see, I might show a video of this. In this bowl right here, this is my dried shrimp. 
I always add a little warm water to my dried shrimp before I start. It kind of swells them up a little bit and give me a chance to go picking through there and, and taking out any kind of shells that may have gotten in there. My old mother-in-law, Laurent, she's the one taught me that. Crawfish tails. I got a pound of crawfish tails. Now look, these are not fully cooked. I prefer them not fully cooked. Sometimes you got to read the pack when you buy your crawfish tails. Some, a lot of them, most of them say fully cooked. I don't like that. Not fully cooked is better because then it takes the flavor just right. The flavor. It's all about the flavor. Then I get some flavor. My flavor for my crawfish is not sitting in the pot somewhere in Timbuktu. Shrimp. Got some shrimp, baby. Got a pound of shrimp. d -bang. Tail off. Head off. Everything's ready to go. Clean. Clean, clean. And crabs. I got maybe six little crab halves right here from when me and TJ went crabbing during the summertime. These are gumbo crabs, and that's what I'd be using. Dang, I think that's it. Anyway, my fire's starting to go. It's Chef Bork. Enjoy the music a little bit. I, you'll see everything what I'm putting in there. If I get a chance, I'll tell you what I'm doing. All right, let's get the show on the road, Chef. Hot dang. Cheers. That gumbo pot's going to take about an hour and a half to cook. And that's it. That's it. My seafood, I'm going to put it in about 10 minutes, 15 minutes before it's ready. Before the gumbo's ready. I need to get that roux boiling and my veggies boiling right now. Let's get it.
start off with the shrimp. Whole lot of shrimp, baby. Whole lot of shrimp. Bang. Next, going for the crawfish. Beautiful crawfish. Let me tell you what. Lots of fat in there, too. All right. Crabs. Put them little pieces of crab in there. All right. That baby's been boiling now uh, for about three minutes, I guess. I'm going to let it go seven more minutes, and I'm shutting it down. And hey, look, next time you see me, I'll be eating, uh, I'll be sipping on some gumbo juice. Getting ready for supper. Anyway, Chef Bork, I'll see you in just a few minutes. Take it easy. Damn, look how pretty that is. Hot. Aye, oh, yeah, baby. Hey, let me tell you one thing. That seafood gumbo is awesome. It is just great. I mean, I... I don't know what to say. Ah! <laughs> Just the right amount of salt and everything. Anyway, I'm going to let the hand tell you how good it is. Tell them, boy. New bro, who know? <laughs> hey, I'm going to talk to you later. Take it easy, baby. Ay, oh yeah, baby. God dang. No for more yes, they talk for more yes. <laughs> <laughs>